Assalamu alaikum, welcome to Urban Dunia, I'm Tim Blight and welcome back to Melbourne Explorer where I am once again with Paulina from Mehekane in Australia and today we are starting our journey around the funky fashionable Chapel Street area of Melbourne with lunch in Abacus. Abacus is one of our favorite places to eat on this strip. I love the combination of indoor and al fresco dining, as well as the balance between swanky yet casual. And then there's the food. We're about to hit Chapel Street. Get a shopping? Oh, please, let's do it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Chapel Street is where a lot of brand names have their outlets, and if you're a shopper, you could easily spend the whole day just walking up and down the strip searching for the perfect outfit or three. Chapel Street has its share of street art as well. It was a really hot day, so we ducked into the jam factory for some respite. Up this end of Chapel Street too, there are some great dining options. Chapelle's is open 24 hours a day, every day of the year. Lover's Walk is currently closed because of construction works, but when it reopens, it will provide direct access to Turek Road around the corner, which is truly the heart of the posh suburb of South Yarra. There are some wonderful places to eat here too. The pasta at Danoi is to die for. Meanwhile, elsewhere in South Yarra, there are some beautiful old leafy neighborhoods with gorgeous architecture and the huge Faulkner Park. But for now, it's back to Chapel Street and past the Chapel Lane Markets. And some eating and entertainment options before we reach Commercial Road, the hub of the suburb of Quran. Quran Market, which is behind us here, is one of Melbourne's best markets for small goods, fresh food and so on. Let's go check it out. Back to Chapel Street, we make our way past the Pran Central Shopping Centre, the Pran Town Hall, and into the Chapel Street Bazaar. It's a second-hand and antique shop, but it's also like an emporium of all the things your grandparents couldn't get rid of. After the junction with High Street, you enter the suburb of Windsor. This end of Chapel Street is a bit grungier, and there are some really cool places to chow down or drink up. So it's actually a really hot day today here in Melbourne and so we are about to drop into Pita Pipo, Pita Pipo for gelato and this is one of the uh, gelateria's three locations around the city, is that right? Yep, that's correct. And 
after dark, Chapel Street becomes the place to go for a night out. Beyond Windsor, Chapel Street ends in St Kilda, which is where we'll be next week, so don't forget to subscribe.